and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to properly check your fire stick and fix buffering. I've been getting a lot of people saying like, um, I'm buffering on this, I'm buffering on this, I'm buffering on this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Now, if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you guys are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Okay, so here we are, here's the fire stick, the new, the new one. And the first thing I always tell people, like you should have checked already your modem, router, all that stuff. The first thing I tell people is come here and go to your uh, applications. So right now my face is covering it. So here it is, applications. Check this and then highlight, hover over manage installed applications. Now, most of the time, this will tell you how many gigs. Some people normally tell me like, hey, I got like 1.5 gigs out of five gigs left available. So you have 1.5 gigs left. Um, that's not good. With these fire sticks, you want at least two gigs or more. The reason is because as you're watching TV, as you're watching a movie, as you're watching a show, especially for live TV, um, this stuff caches information and data. Now, when you're watching a movie and TV show, especially stuff like Netflix, um, Hulu, Disney Plus, a lot of the caching goes on their servers. So your device doesn't have to work that hard. Now, when you are using a third party app, the caching happens on your device. So when you are downloading that information, and even if it's not downloading, if it's just coming in to watch live, you're still downloading little bits and pieces that's caching within your device. So if you're watching a movie that's, let's just say, um, 10 gigs, little bits and pieces of that is being stored on here and it's a continuous flow as you're watching it it still continuously flows and adds more stuff when it comes to live tv that's different that's a constant stream that's coming in and those packages can be pretty big it can be about 60 gigs sometimes so when those packages come in you want to be sure you have plenty of storage left so if this says under two gigs you have a problem click on it and you probably want to start deleting stuff. Now, as you know, some of these apps here, you can't delete. So if you're just like, I want to delete something here that's like from Amazon, I don't want it. Um, you might not be able to delete it. Like, for example, this one. So what do you do? Um, you're just like, well, I don't want to delete Disney Plus. I don't want to delete Earth Cam or I don't want to delete whatever. What do I do? Um, you probably have to reset your device. I've seen people where they where they might delete stuff here. So freebie can delete freebie. They've deleted stuff here and this number does not change. So easiest solution is you want to come down here to my fire TV. You want to go over here to where it says reset to factory default. Now, when you do this, it tells you right here, you are about to reset your Amazon fire TV stick to its original factory settings your sign-in information, personal preference, your apps, your logins, everything will be wiped out clean. So what that means is when you restart everything, it's going to be brand spanking new, fresh out the box, nothing installed. Now, the reason why I recommend that is because that will help you with storage issues and buffering issues. Um, one other th secret here that I always tell people also is come here to your network. Um, when you come here to your network and you press the play button, when you do that, this is going to open up a speed test for the fire stick. So right here at the bottom, run speed test and say yes, continue. If you have a live TV app, let's just say you're using smarters and you are buffering. You want to open up Smarters and run the speed test within Smarters. This one, um, the reason why I'm saying within Smarters is because Smarters will check your app and the network that you're on, plus the live TV that you're trying to view, and it'll see if it's like, hey, I'm getting enough information here to, to, to view whatever it is that you're viewing. If not, this will actually just test the fire stick itself so you just run it it tells you all the recommendations here and it's pretty simple and to the point um 
let me know. These are just some very, very, very basics. I always tell, again, people, check your Motorman router, run a speed test, make sure that's running good. Run a speed test on the Fire Stick. Run the speed test if you're using Smarters within the app. And um, last resort, check your check check your storage. If it's really low, factory reset the thing. That's going to fix the majority of your issues if you are if you are running extremely low on storage if you're right at that two gigs and you're just like i've deleted everything already i don't know what else to delete um chances are what you didn't delete was those file packages that you originally downloaded so keep that in mind when you guys are trying to factory reset and fix your fire stick let me know what you guys think in the comment section below hope this has helped you guys and yeah, hope you guys are doing well. You guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.